Hey guys, what is going on? So I have finally received the Vivo Nex 3 after it's been delayed for about a week, but I finally have it, so I'm really, really excited. I ordered it through DHL from a seller in AliExpress, which I will link in the description. If you don't believe me, this is the DHL bag, and it also came in this, which doesn't really offer much padding. I wish they added more, but as long as the phone isn't broken, I'm happy. Okay, what is... Oh, wow. So we have some writing here in Chinese. And let's skip all the boring stuff and go right to the smartphone. And yep, this does feel great. Let's peel this off. Phone isn't broken, so kudos to the seller, I guess. All right, let's power it on. Huh. Listen to that. That is the... The buttonless uh, button, I guess. Okay, let's power, power it on. Let's try holding it. Okay, that powers it on. The phone feels kind of thick, maybe slightly thicker than than other phones we've seen. Um, it feels thicker than the 11 Pro Max and the Note 10 Plus, that's for sure. All right, and the phone is pre-set up, which I knew it was gonna be like that because the seller had to add the Play Store. So the power button is in the middle of the volume up and down buttons, all right, so. All right, so the reason I'm making this video is because I want to show you how to add a custom launcher and how to disable any bloat where you want. So I'm gonna set this up and get back to you. So how to disable all that shitty bloatware. First off, package disabler, and look for the one that says owner app. So this is the one that's gonna work with all of your phones, every single Android is gonna work. But you do gotta buy it. Last I checked, it was like two bucks, but let me tell you guys, it is absolutely worth it. So I really do recommend you buy this. All right, so here we have it right here. So as you can see, we have all the bloatware. Let's go to system packages and you have a bunch of Vivo bloatware. They're one of the worst. Baidu IME, I think that's the keyboard. The, that This really bad browser and a bunch of other Vivo services that can really get on your nerves. So all of this we can disable. Just be careful what you disable because you might mess up your phone if you disable something it actually needs. So let's see, go, go up a search. And as you can see, it says app is not device owner. So this is where your PC comes in. All right, go to this website and click this one, the latest, download that. Okay, and this is the download app. After you extract it, of course. Click next, next. I already have it installed. So I'm gonna skip that. And after it's done, you should get this. Double click that. And this is where you're gonna send your command to the app. And if by any chance that's not enough, just click this other link and download ADB setup. And when you download it, it's gonna look something like this. Just double click that. Do you want to install ADB in Fastboot? Yes. Install system-wide? Yes. Do you want to install device drivers? Yes. And then you're gonna get this. Let's click next. There we go. And it's done. Now, in order for this app to actually work, we need to give it permissions via the Fastboot. But we can't, we, first, we have to remove all the accounts. We have to remove the Vivo account. We also have to sign out of the Google account. And don't worry, as soon as you finish this, we can sign right back in. Now, we have to go to settings, more settings, about phone. Go to software version, just keep tapping that until we are a developer. And now we find the developer settings, they're right over here. Switch it on, yep. We're gonna get this annoying message, but this is only temporary. And we're gonna enable USB debugging. And now we gotta connect the phone to the PC. And allow from this computer and tap always allow. And now let's make sure it's, we change it from charge only to files. Now let's go back to the app. You guys saw before, right? Like we have to type this command and uh, CMD fastboot thing I just showed you. Okay, we're gonna double click minimal ADB and fastboot. Now, when you install this, 
I hope you chose create a shortcut because if you didn't you, you won't have this so if you didn't choose create a shortcut then just reinstall it and check that and double click right now your phone should be connected to the PC with USB debugging enabled and send files uh, as I showed you before now just paste the command here and click press enter I can't show you the result because my phone it's already enabled but it should show you something like this device is now set to own or something like that if you get an error or something just try again make sure everything's connected right you can close this reopen the the disabler app like force close it and from the recents and open it again and it should work okay and now we have this message that says this device this device is managed by your organization so but don't worry this is completely normal it's just what the app does let's try open you're opening it okay now it works now I can disable anything I want on the phone so let's say we have game center right this is something I'm not gonna use I can just go here search game center there we go what else uh, now it's gone let's see vivo cloud and this is something I can't get rid of or can I hmm okay vivo let's just type let's just type vivo let's disable the email um, Jovi so you, you guys get the point so now if you want to keep developer options on there's a way to keep it on without this annoying message so we're gonna go to settings more settings app manager and we're gonna go to more show system and we're gonna go all the way down to vivo service here we go go to storage clear data and there we go developer options is still on but the message is gone so as you can see it's still on so I can go to animation skill and now I have animations set to 0 0.5 with no annoying message now I showed you how to disable bloatware now I'm going to show you to use a custom launcher okay we got Nova launcher start fresh blah, blah, blah. but every time we go back we're back to stock so what we're gonna do is Nova settings and as you can see home app which is the launcher it doesn't work so we need a vivo account and lucky for us vivo now lets anyone open an account and I'm gonna show you how all right now click the vivo account link and you should get this page so you're gonna choose your region and I suggest you change it to the region that you live in for the best optimization I don't know if anything bad will happen if you choose a different region but I'm just gonna choose my my own region because I really have a, no reason not to choose otherwise and we are gonna register via email address so we're gonna type one of my other email addresses and now you have to click this send so it's gonna send a verification code to that email address it should look something like this if you don't have it in your main inbox then check your spam now paste the code here and choose any password you want click OK this is our account and you can use the email and password to sign into it on the phone okay now go back to settings sign into your vivo account and tap here and account password login login with your email and there you go we here is our vivo account now that we got that over with where are we are gonna go to launcher replace the system launcher it's right over here allow the launcher to be replaced and this is where your account comes in you have to verify your account password 
Okay, now here, tap the home button to lock the system home screen. I think we're gonna disable this. Go back to Nova, Nova settings, and Nova launcher set as default. And now we have our launcher. So as you We have a working launcher, an app disabler, and I think that's pretty much it. You can customize this to be any way you like. I'm gonna show you how I customize it right now. So as you can see, that looks so much better. We have my custom Nova setup. It looks clean, nice, app door, uh, no bloatware. So now I have the awesome Vivo Nex S which is a really cool phone, customized for the Western market. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.